Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good? Did you see that last video? Man, I, I shouldn't... That customer was difficult. He was a bully. I had a couple of creative titles, like, I don't know, Bully the... Butch the Bully. Uh, or the New Jersey know-it-all. I shouldn't talk about customers. I shouldn't. Or should I? Should I be completely transparent? Because I am about my business and my kids. But, man. Just uncomfortable. What, what a shame his tank leaked. What a shame. I won't be doing that job. I won't be bidding that job either. No, thank you. But you wake up and see that, what a morning. We've been given another day. That's wonderful. Well, the uh, long-awaited, anticipated 10,000 gallon, three 10,000 gallon gas tanks for the marina is coming up Monday. I probably do maybe three or four projects a year where I have to rent out a large machine. Um, and I always rent something a little bit larger because, you know, I like playing with big toys like that. $500,000 excavators. Well, normally, there's something that's called a MOBE and DMOBE. That's the price they charge you to deliver the piece of equipment and then pick it up. You know, when I do my remediations, my MOBE and DMOBE is $300. Um, obviously, that's a heavier machine. I think the machine's like 40,000 pounds. You know, and the rig that they bring it in is, is pretty expensive. But I haven't rented a machine from him in, in well over a year, maybe a little longer, because I try to pull it out with the 80. You know, I can get a 5K out. Anything after that, I struggle, and I, I kind of look stupid at the site. Um, but his Mob and D-Mob went from 450 to 1200 $1,200 for a Mob and D-Mob. Everybody's raising their prices but me. And I, I don't want to start that because, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to lose a potential $30,000 cleanup because I overbid it by 200 bucks. So... That's a lot of money, though. So that job is coming up. Uh, and I don't think... They're 10,000 gallon tanks, and we didn't find three there, so who knows what we're going to find. That brings me a little anxiety. Also, um, right across the street is a gas station that we did probably, man, that one's got to be 15 years ago, and we had nothing but problems with underground lines, water mains, all unmarked, unlocated, and those lines actually for some reason go under the roadway right to the marina that we're working at so i'm worried about that again uh so a little anxiety i'm excited to do it but a little anxiety interested to see what was buried in there in the 20s i think it was the 20s it may be earlier but that's coming up monday um because i know a bunch of you guys are asking about it but today we are in pine bush Craig is mentally getting focused. See, he's got a fist pump there. Something's going on. Uh, we're doing, and we haven't done an install in a while, probably a week and a half. Doing a lot of remediations and just removals. So we're doing a removal of a 550 in pine bush with an above ground installation. You know, when I was gonna look at the file today, cause I feel like an idiot when I watched the video and I'm like, oh, I don't know, you know, what's going on. Well, you know what, look at the file, idiot, before you do the, the video so and again I didn't look at it but boys are coming in doesn't feel too cold I don't know I think today's the eighth maybe the ninth I walk around clueless I you know what's today's date the eighth ninth ninth there you go today's the ninth Craig's anniversary was yesterday so tomorrow Friday he's taken off uh, and that's it as soon as the boys will come in, we're going to do our regulars, and we'll see you up in Pinebush. Okay, folks, we have reached our destination here. 
It's Shawokonk or some pretty close to that. Not pine bush. So I'm going to say this will be our access in. Nice home. Ground's nice and frozen. We'll knock on the door in a minute. I'm not sure where this tank is going. Oh, that clean out right there. Probably for the septic. Yep, here's the tank right here. Excellent. All right. We'll just be careful of that. We'll go meet the homeowner now. Is that gonna, that's gonna clear it? You're good. Come on. Come on. Leveling these all out now. Get them perfect. We may remove that. I don't know. How'd you do? Not bad. Big tank, huh? No, it's, it's got its pros and cons, mostly pros. The cons are when there's a pandemic and you gotta tell all your kids they gotta go on unemployment. Dad, dad's kind of a failure when that happens. It, it did for a while because we were, what, what, what's that called when they're not important? Uh, oh, non-essential? Yeah, we were non-essential for about a month. So that scared the crap out of me. Cause that put me about 120 in the hole. Okay, where are you moving to? Clemson. South Carolina by Clemson. That's where everybody's going. I'm telling you, bro. 
Carolinas. Yeah, mom will never leave her grandchildren and children. Neither will I. I'd be bored and lonely. Yeah. Oh, without the kids, yeah. Yeah, and just and retiring. I, you know, all my life I wanted to retire. I'm getting there. I'm like, no way I'm retiring. I hate the weekends. Mm. So. And I love a, the weekends. And as a parent, we got to tell them what to do, right? That's right. <laughs> no matter what. My kids hate it. No matter what, they'll understand it though when they. When they that's right. How old's your oldest? Uh, I'm 22. Okay. 21, and my youngest is just gonna graduate. Well, you're a young guy then. How old are you? 53. I'm 60. I'll be 61. <laughs> and seven grandchildren. Ah, good for you. And everybody lives. I think you're the furthest, Craig. What? Six miles away? Uh, yeah, like 13 minutes. I was shooting for like 25, but. <laughs> So in other words, we're all in everybody's shit then. <laughs> but that's how I like it. You have each other's back though, that's all I'm out Yep. I jump on a 36 inch box. What is what is this? Break time, ladies? Let's go. That's not vertical. Jeez. Because you can bend your knees. You guys walk 20 yards. They need a break. No. No, that's why I got you. Back in the day, we used to walk to school carrying those. Corey, you gotta come here, yeah? You guys are like drunken sailors. Watch your step back here, Corey. You're good, you're good, come on, come on. Oh. Beautiful. You're, what are you doing? I'm the drunken sailor. That's where I want it. First time? That's horrible. Okay. What happened? Huh? What happened? It's on the middle. Yeah, I know. I couldn't get the... Uh, we even we spray painted the levels for I couldn't you. get them in place because of the dirt in the backside, so I guess. Okay. Let's go see what Mikey's doing. What are you doing, Mike? Making drop tubes. Drop tubes. What size? Half inch. Oh, you hate them, huh? Yeah. Annoying. Finally. Annoying because you see these? Uh -huh. They don't go on. Why? They just don't go on. They don't fit. Oh, under the copper. Yeah, it's, it it's a pain in the ass, yeah. So you have to hammer it on. And it's got to be a perfect cut. Yeah, because right there, what's stopping it? Is this the curve of the copper? No, look. That piece. Oh, gotcha. Compression fitting. Yep. So you gotta like loosen all the way. Yep, yep. So you gotta get like a nut. Put the, uh, put the nut here. Hammer it in. Gotcha. It takes a really long time. That's why you make the big box, it really Mike. goes in. It's a while. Gotcha. Can you see in there? It was 21 inches. It shouldn't overflow. Oh, no? Well, Corey got me a little nervous there. I mean, I can't see. I couldn't see either. I gotta be right here. Where you want. That's like over half. Oh, okay. I left in all Yeah, just throw them there. Just move them the
Well, this is the last chance for the Eagles here. It's funny, my son became a Rams fan even before he got good. I don't know why. He didn't take the Giants. And they end up in the Bad parenting, that's why. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's a fan. That's a sign of rebel he's rebelling right there. He's gonna start with the uh with your Yankee your... fan, so I'm happy there. Good. Corey's a, Corey's a Met fan. I like the Mets too. Corey's got a life. Corey's of a Jet Met. Yeah. yeah. Rough childhood. <laughs> well, no, your dad likes them. So yeah, but he's never seen a win. <laughs> he's never seen a win, though. I've never seen a I've seen playoffs twice in my life. With Rex Ryan and Mark Sanchez. Uh, Mets went to uh, okay. yeah, yeah, 2000. Yeah, 2015. Oh. Yeah, but you were still, I guess you were, when did you graduate? 16, you Okay. Yeah. Craig has flared those Every too. Now. We'll pull this guy. Get certified for that Mikey's or? cleaned it. Yeah. Boy, look at the pitting on that, huh? Hey, he's cleaning all the tanks next week. All 10 case. What? I find it satisfying. Easy! Get out, Fred. This is a nice thick tank, installed very well. Um, and look at the bottom though. He's ready to go. He was starting. Okay, folks. Got that 
Yeah, and throw it raked out. Not bad. Not bad. We'll just put that drainage pipe across that. Just so it don't wash that all out. 11.15 a.m. Not bad. Two hours. Happy customer. No environmental impact. You know what I'm going to say. That's another fine job by Corey Stokeland.